right. Hey there, hi there, pile two. All right, so just give me a minute. I had to sort of do this pile a little bit differently um, just because um, my recording got messed up. So please, I do apologize. But here's your pile, pile two. And um, let's get started. Okay, so this is the final rose. Here's a little star seed stone for you, my little star seeds. Got this off to moo. Okay, it's beautiful iridescent color. And then I have the rose card. Okay, this is the final rose card I got from the Bachelor Nation tarot deck. Um, I found on Tamu. Okay, so let's see what it is. Ooh, destiny with the dice, the rolling of the dice. Six, six, twelve. All right, let's see here. I actually do have two dice, so I'm gonna roll it and get you a number, and then maybe that's gonna be like your lucky number or something. So just give me a moment, so All right, I found my other dice. All right, so I got two dice here. So I'm gonna roll it, see what number I get. That's gonna be your lucky number. All right, let's go. Oh, the lucky number four. One and three. One and three. All right, so there you go. There's your lucky number. Okay, tile two. So whatever that number four is, that means it's for you. All right, so um, now, destiny. Let's see what this is about. Let's see what's going on here. So here's a rose oracle card. The reunion. Ooh, destiny to have this reunion. Oh, my God. Okay. Soul recognition, collaboration, partnership, and friendship. Yes. Yes. I believe it. Manifest it. Whoever this person is that you have met, that you plan on meeting, um, this is your destiny. This person is your destiny. Um, they are meant to be in your life, and there is a reunion between you and this person going to happen very soon I feel very soon indeed now let's get your universe vibration message we have my breath connects me to life oh wow I love that so this life that you have every breath you take like take it with like the biggest most wonderful like just like motivated energy you can think of and muster up okay because things are happening here. Big things are happening. Um, and it's a lot. It's, I'm not going to lie. It is a lot. Destiny, that's a big word, okay? Um, reunion with someone, that's another big thing, right? There, we've heard of family reunions. We've had reunions of uh, past lovers. We'd have reunions of soulmates. We have reunions for um, graduations. Like there's so much that goes into that. And the collaboration and the partnership and the friendship and the soulfulness that is going to come from this destiny made reunion is truly beautiful and magnificent and magical. So yay, I'm excited. Now let's get like some universe positive affirmations, knowledge, seek knowledge okay so you can see her she this is your advice okay she's reading a book she's learning all of these different things there are two people standing over here together out in a field um it looks like they're meeting there's the reunion that we're talking about here then we have over here this girl and she looks like she's like in some kind of room or dungeon chained up possibly and these two other women are like, oh my God, what has happened to her? So coming to release her from this. Um, there's a fairy over here uh, flying, um, perhaps getting answers, seeking advice and help. She's dreaming all this. You can see her eyes are closed and she's reading this book and learning all of this, these stories here. So possibly a storyteller. You also have this image here. Um, it looks like another meeting of a person and then there's someone hiding behind a curtain. There are like two figures over here and someone sitting on the floor. Um, and then over here you have like a knight in shining armor, an angel helping free this woman. So it's like a story, okay? So like these two people meet, possibly she ends up in a dungeon maybe. I don't know, I'm not sure. And then she, there's all these different things happening here. I'm not sure what the sequence and events are in order. But um, either way, like there's this freedom here, okay? These two women helping free her. Um, 
finding out secret information and fairy help guidance angels and a knight in shining armor so there's a lot there's like a theme here i feel like of like um freeing oneself from something you know freeing oneself from like past traumas and bondages and releasing that i feel like um now we have the angel of therapy yeah it is release there you go you're releasing yourself you're releasing yourself from past traumas you're releasing yourself from toxic relationships you're releasing yourself from whatever was not serving your greater good before whatever energies were holding you back because your destiny is calling you to meet this new person and have this reunion with them like when i say reunion it could be a reunion of karmic souls so like soulmates like you could have gone through um reincarnation if you believe in that for whoever that resonates with this can be your soul is reincarnated into someone and you're about to meet your soulmate who's also reincarnated it can also mean that if you um went through a breakup or a, a terrible separation between someone you really love and care about you could be coming back together you could have been waiting for this um, reunion for a long time now, but you need to release any, any toxic energies. You need to release any, um, you know, karmic doubts in your mind or any negative energies that are trying to keep you from believing that this can be positive. This reunion can be beautiful and wonderful. Um, work with Archangel Michael to let go of what no longer serves you or your purpose. Yeah, exactly. So Archangel Michael wants you to release those toxic energies, release those toxic beliefs that have maybe been passed down to you um, by others. Um, this could be like generational curses, things like that. Um, and then just know that whatever is meant to be, it has a purpose. It's your destiny. That's like your life journey, your purpose. So if you've always felt a calling that you're called for something bigger than just what you have been given in life and you want more in life, this is the answer you've been seeking for that this is happening for you but you need to work with you know Archangel Michael for example um, you know a spiritual <laughs> um, guide or guidance uh, here to um, let go of whatever is not serving your better interests and put your energy toward things that are um, now let's get a better look in here so four of cups so see an offering being made to you. There's this offer of like, you know, a party, a celebration. You know, she, this woman, she has these drinks here. If you're familiar with the Mean Girls um, movies, you know that this character is the mom of Regina, um, who's like the leader of the clique. And she's offering the girls like these mocktails, cosmopolitan mocktails. Uh, she's trying to be all friends with them. So there's this reunion where there's like this older woman who's more mature. And she wants you to know that like your destiny and your purpose is to have that sense of friendship, to have that sense of collaboration. And yeah, it, it might be a click. It might, you know, be a group of girls that you love hanging out with. It can be, you know, an older woman mentor that is like insightful and giving you advice and showing you example of what motherhood looks like, one version of it anyway. Um, you know, and there are so many different things happening here. And I feel like this older, more mature woman has been through a lot of relationships, been through heartache. So she might be able to offer you better guidance and understanding of how you're feeling and overall like how to handle things that seem way bigger than you could ever imagine. Like destiny, for example, right? Soulmates, destiny. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of good energies coming in. Um, now we have here, okay, so now we have the Queen of Swords. Okay. Um, this Queen of Swords energy, you know, she does seem, she can seem a little hostile with her facial expression. You know, she's not smiling. She seems a little bit more ready and prepared for battle or war if it comes her way. Now, that can be you putting up the safety, like, walls of security or boundaries, right? Like, you might not want to share too much information or give away too much of yourself as first you know you might not want to be totally openly vulnerable sharing like you know past traumas that you've endured or like things that society you know and generational things that have made you seem like you know sharing certain parts of yourself are not acceptable or like like for instance here's a perfect example let's say that um you're starting to date again but you went through a really bad breakup and yeah, you're still going through it emotionally, 
but it's not something that like is hindering you or keeping you from being positive and looking forward to your next new relationship it's just something that makes you a little bit cautious you're not first you're not going in like fully like you know sunshine rainbows you're going in more a little bit like mm, i got my boundaries up you know you got to fill me out first got to suss you out first got to make sure there's no red flags first that's perfectly normal and acceptable right now if the person you're dating is like oh ugh, she's not vulnerable enough she's not open enough blah 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 blah, blah. like they're not meant for you, right? They're not ready to go at your pace. They're thinking miles ahead, you know, the next best thing, whatever the case is. That's okay. Not meant to be, right? But because I see the destiny card here, because I see the reunion here, I'm sensing that you are reuniting with maybe an ex. You might be reuniting with someone that you're afraid that things could go wrong because of your past relationship. So this is like, I'm getting like an ex for some reason. <laughs> um, So I think that or maybe someone who let you down in the past and like now you're seeing them again and you're trying to get second chances i don't know like um it, i get really big x vibes <laughs> from this card so you know that's why you're cautious because there's a reason why you guys broke up right there's a reason why you didn't come to an agreement to stay together right so um whatever those differences are there's time to get in closure there's time to reunite and get that sense of partnership again so giving second chances is a big theme i'm sensing here for this card um so stay open-minded you know with the four of cups you know she's all about friendship and openness and vulnerability and showing like um you know and regina's mom also a single mom like if you've seen the movies there's she, her dad is not in the picture so there's that sense that like um you know there's this part of you that is reserved for a good reason so don't doubt that if you need to be reserved to protect yourself then that's even more important okay than you know letting yourself get hurt again and not being ready for something um just going into it a little bit reserved is always good um especially when there's a history of past trauma and you know negative feelings now i'm moving forward there is going to be success though okay ace of coins okay um here's like you know the angel universe um guardian angel here holding the coin here the ace of coins here holding the answers holding this abundance here's the horn of plenty food prosperity success okay now you know going into this that there might be some restraint there might be some strenuous stress related conversations and topics okay just like in any relationship you might not always agree on everything you know but that being said this card is indicating me that you are going to get the answers that you seek and they are going to be ones that are positive you know this is getting closure this is about getting um resolving conflict it's all things that are good okay so um the star okay so this is you you are the star okay like maybe you're on social media and you have a lot of followers or subscribers and also by the way if you have gotten this far in the video please hit that like and subscribe button it shows me that you liked my video it shows me that you enjoy watching my videos um it, it definitely uh shows me support it means the world to me um please feel free to leave a comment below a heart emoji smile emoji letting me know that you did enjoy this video um i really appreciate it. it again it really means the world to me um that being said um you are a star in the making and like you already are have like so much success and you have this beautiful light around you like you're just such a beautiful light being and all these lotus flowers growing around you like the lotus flower has to push through the mud to come out and be beautiful and wonderful and just like the star card just like the lotus flower you had to push your way to the top you had to push your way to where you want to go you had to make that climb you had to stay motivated stay brave stay cured courageous and literally fight your way to the top and now you're this beautiful wonderful star being and this is how your person sees you this is how the world sees you almost too even like um you know you know that by getting this car this shows you like you know your worth and you know your value and you know that you deserve the best in the world um and that is really awesome because not a lot of people know that so i hope you do
Um, now we have here the hidden, the heart's hidden secrets, okay? So what is the hidden secrets of the heart here? Mistakes, okay? Past mistakes. That's why there's this reunion happening. It's because this person, I'm really getting strong vibes that this person is an ex. So if this resonates with you, let me know in the comments below. Um, I'd love to know. So, um, you know, misunderstood, victim, lost soul. Like, certain people are going to feel a certain type of way. Like, you know, I don't feel like you ever had that victim mentality. I feel like you've always had a survivor mentality. That's what makes you such a star is because you've always pushed through no matter what. And while, yes, you are the victim of a lot of things, you don't victimize yourself. And you don't have that victim mentality where, like, oh, everyone feels sorry for me 24-7. Poor me, poor me. No, that's not you at all. It's just, like, shit happens gotta get through it, gotta move on, and gotta survive it, right? Now, that doesn't mean you don't need to fight for yourself or stand up for yourself. You absolutely do need to do that, and that's the difference between a survivor and a victim, okay? So, you know, just time going forward, moving forward. Um, just know that the reason for this breakup was because of misunderstandings, bad communication, okay, can happen to anybody, can happen to the best of us, um, and lost soul. Okay, now because you are the star here and you're like the main character, right, of your own story and your own love story here, um, this other person, they are not, um, as socially, like, ready for, <laughs> like that to accept that reality right a lot of people don't see themselves as a beautiful soul a beautiful being they have that victim mentality and that's how they quote unquote survive but it can be a very hard harsh reality to deal with somebody who doesn't see themselves as um someone who can be stable or secure or a provider right somebody who runs away in fear right so that can be that lost soul mentality is like i feel like for you you've always known somewhere deep down inside even if you're just starting to realize that now there's a part of you that has always known that you are meant to live the best life you can possibly live and you're meant to have an awesome time doing it it doesn't always happen that way but that's just how you push yourself now this other person is not that way though that's why they were an ex um but i feel like you're gonna be meeting up with them again soon um you know just be cautious again with that queen of swords card because of the misunderstandings in the past and their victim mentality and you know when they're a lost soul they don't always come across the most positive um supportive being <laughs> um but you have such beautiful qualities about you um that you are going to be able to get through anything that you need to face meeting with this person again reunion with them whether it's by coin like just serendipitous you know by accident i don't know like you're going to be seeing them again soon very soon so that being said, you know, just um, remember to love yourself and, you know, keep your boundaries up and, you know, move forward with caution, but also with a positive, um, open communication, that kind of thing is going to be really crucial here. Okay. Now, angel number, last but not least, here's your angel number. We have 1144 or 111. 1144, one, four. <laughs> sorry, 1144. One, one, four. Okay, so this is high vibes, okay? Divine intervention, prosperity, big ventures, faded events, faith, purpose, higher calling. Again, that really reflects on destiny, right? That really reflects on your Rose Oracle saying there's a reunion happening. Um, love or other happiness lurks just around the corner. It will be something much better than in your wildest dreams. A rare opportunity, an exciting encounter with like-minded people will exceed your expectations. Okay, so just go into this reunion with a wonderful, beautiful perspective. And, you know, do not be afraid to be yourself and be cautious, but also know that everything is happening for a good reason. It's a good, positive reason this is happening. So don't go into it with any negative connotations or thoughts. Just go into it fully prepared to know that this is your destiny. 
Okay? All right. Love and light always. Thanks, Pile2. Thanks for watching. Again, please hit that like and subscribe button because that lets me know you support my channel and you really enjoyed this reading. And that makes me feel positive and happy. So thank you so much. Bye.